Guys, I just got everything I need to install my 102 inch stainless steel whip antenna with a potbelly spring on my trailer hitch mount. Uh, starting with this, this is from Kurt Manufacturing. This is a drop hitch mount. It's made by inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter solid bar stock. Look at that. Okay, you can see, if you can see inside there, it's not tubular. There's no space. I mean, it's just all metal all the way through. This thing is heavy. It's beautifully welded. Take a look at the Take a look at the weld on this. Made in the USA by Kurt Manufacturing. Thank you, Kurt Manufacturing. Nice product, powder coated. Looks good, feels good. Nice hunk of nice hunk of metal. For this application, though, we're not going to use it like this. I'm going to flip it over. Because my car actually sits kind of low. I have a small car. So even if I had a uh, uh, a trailer attached to it, uh, I would have to put the, the ball up this way. So I'm going to mount the antenna that way as well. Okay, let's put that down. This, this is the actual plate. It's going to go right under here, like that. It's got a 5 8 inch hole. Uh, I'm thinking about a half inch hole here. Beautifully finished. It's all stainless steel. This is made by OPEC. Uh, I believe it's O-P-E-K. Really nice product. Super durable, super heavy duty. Looks good, feels good. Another great product. And this is a heavy duty antenna mount. Okay, here's our uh, coax connector on the bottom, and the pot belly spring with the 102 inch whip is going to screw right onto that. And this is a little grub screw. This didn't come with the grub screw, I had to get that separately, but it's 3 8 inch. Came with, a, with an Allen head uh, insert on top. So let me just put that back on. So that's that, that's our antenna mount. Okay. And I decided to go with a 90 degree uh, 259 connector. Right, install a little grommet under here. I'm going to probably use uh, RG8X uh, cable, so I think it'll be fine. And then I decided to use uh, half inch. This is uh, probably copper uh, plated, or uh, actually copper tin plated. Uh, ground wire, half inch wide, with a number four uh, terminal. Can you see the four in there? There it is. Number four terminal connector that I actually crimped in a vise. Stuck it in there as far as it would go and crimped it down. It made a nice mechanical connection. And what I want to show you here, what this thing is. What's this? This is basically the other route that I was thinking of trying. And I was uh, welding it. You know, soldering it. And the reason I'm kind of adverse to that, as you can see, the solder is kind of wicked up in there, and this thing's lost its elasticity. Okay, it's not flexible anymore. It's rigid, and I'm wondering, it's probably going to be negligible, but I think overall, you know, if you want the best possible connection, I think the mechanical connection is going to supersede the, uh, the soldered connection, because it just goes straight through it, clamps down, and then the electrons travel to the ground you get a nice I think you get a better ground this way than you do this way okay so let's put this all together and see what it looks like of course we have our ball this is a spring washer and the nut so I'm gonna leave this sideways so you guys get a good view of what's going on first thing I'm gonna do is take off this unscrews so I'll unscrew this Alright, this is going to go toward the bottom. This part's going to be toward the ground. And that's where our coax is going to, our PL259 is going to screw into. I'm going to pop that in like that. And we have a, uh, we have this washer, which has a little ridge. Okay, and you have to be careful with this little ridge. You want to put it facing down. Like that. And the reason for that is, See that ridge in there? That is going to keep this, which is basically an insulated stud, coming out through here. This is all insulated, this whole center part. This is going to be the positive. And if this touches any part of that, you're going to ground out your antenna. So we don't want to do that. And what this does is it keeps this metal piece, this metal stud, from coming in contact with the plate. So we're going to run that through like that. Then 
we're going to screw this on like that. I'm going to take a little slack on this. There we go. Okay, there you go. All right, we're cool and groovy. And of course, we're going to take our cable going to our uh, going to our radio, and we're going to plug this connector in there. And you can see here, I just installed a little O-ring on here because when this actually you tighten it up, it's going to press against that O-ring and kind of keep out uh, the moisture, which I think is a good idea, especially if you're you're going to be driving in uh, in rainy or snowy conditions. There you go. All right, and then. The last portion of it is to install it. So I'm going to leave this on its side. We're going to put the ball through. And we're going to run this right up against that hitch. I'll just leave it like that. Now for the other side of this ground strap, I decided to use a, uh, a lock washer with internal teeth. Okay, normally they got the teeth on the outside. This one's got the teeth on the inside. Okay, I'm going to take the one end of the ground strap. Of course, this end is going to go to the car, and I am going to just kind of loop this over a little bit. See that's kind of frayed on the one end here? That's pay no mind to that. I'm going to put it around, kind of crimp it with our hand like that, use my fingers, point it down. And when this when this goes up in there, and it's uh, when we screw that, that nut down, this isn't going anywhere. It's going to be a nice, solid, mechanical connection right up until that plate. Let's pop that in like that. And we'll put our lock washer behind it. And then we'll screw it all down. And I'm just going to hand tighten this. Alright. And so... And we're ready to slide this into our hitch. This will be at a 90 degree angle. And there you go. That'll be it. And where it comes off of here, or it can come in, you know, angled toward the car, however you want to route it. Or even go through the trunk if you want. But the whole idea is this is all detachable. You can take it off, put it on relatively quick. Uh, and the reason I need to do that is because I don't want to be driving around town uh, with a 102 inch stainless steel whip. I, you know, usually jam my tunes but when I uh, take a road trip I'm out in the country uh, I listen to my CB so I want to be able to put this on put my 102 inch stainless steel whip and uh, you know, hear what's going on on the road okay so that's it